My name is Min Tuta, and one of the first events I was introduced to when I moved to Houston was homecoming. I mean, the pep rallies, dress up days, football games, it is insane. Hey, what's up, vlog? From what I've seen, it's a pretty big deal here. So why not make a video documenting what it's like? <sighs> Alright, here we go. Today. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. It's it's not drama, it's not comedy. It's somewhere in the middle. It's got romance. It's, got it's good. Romance. That was good timing. Hi. Okay. What did you do, baby? That's a fancy camera, dude. Look away and then do the blue steel. I don't like the swallow. Oh, wait, where you swallow it? You ever done that thing where you swallow a boom mic? <laughs> For the record? Yes. Whoa! Hey, whoa, whoa. He, he did it. You saw that, right? He cut it on camera. Can we get an instant replay? Primary color game. <laughs> oh, that's going to bags. What the heck? I can pretend fall in the pool. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. For the thumbnail, for the thumbnail. Yeah, thumbnail with an <laughs> oh Long live the king! You guys are shaking so much! Wait, doesn't that mean we should drop him in money and get stampeded though? Uh, Alright, drop. Three, two, one, go. Day in the life of Kristen! Hey vlog! I have so much competition in this field. So homecoming night can be split into four parts, with the first part being pictures. See, it's not really homecoming unless you spend an hour and a half taking photos. And honestly, it's also not really a high school video unless you have Khalid playing in the background. Because I'm 18, and I still live with my parents, yeah, then I like yours. Who yours are more understanding, I never fell in love. I save those feelings for you, so let's do all the stupid shit that young kids do. It's me. So after taking a bunch of photos, we went on to have dinner, which would be the second part of Homecoming Night. And when we got to the restaurant, well, uh, <laughs> it's safe to say we had some spare time. Hi, uh, I'm reporter Austin Davis here with Homecoming News. We're here at Whiskey Cake with the line. We haven't been seated. We have been waiting for 30 minutes. Our reservation was at 8, and it's uh, 8.30. As you can tell, we're here just waiting. Sorry, girl, I got a ghost. Yeah, you know this ain't the old man. Eventually, we went into the restaurant. And I just want to propose a toast to senior year. Oh, okay. So we toasted to a bright future and awaited our food. And boy, was it amazing. The water was refreshing, the ambience was sweet, the food was exquisite, everything was so nice, and you know, I felt at peace. And then I turned and saw Ashley with a bunch of knives. That, that, that was kind of scary. But we talked and we laughed and at the end, we were all ready to go on to the third part of the night, which would be the dance. As we come on the air, there is breaking news. 30 inches of rain. This thing went from nothing to a tropical depression to a tropical storm. One of the greater concerns in the region right now has to be, what about kids in school? And it sounds like there's more on the way. It's a situation that's making people compare it to Hurricane Harvey. Huh. So, we're pretty much near the end of the video. And I guess this brings us to the last and final part of Homecoming Night. And that is, the after party.
I remember my first ever homecoming in Texas, getting to know all these people. I remember sitting by the pool watching horror movies and just staying up late talking about random things. It was amazing and one of the first times I felt genuinely happy here. We're now in our last year of high school. There's been so much on my mind lately from college apps to scholarships and most of the time everything just feels so complicated. However, it's nights like these when all of us are together that allows you to take a step back and realize life isn't too bad. See, even though a tropical storm took away the original dance, it didn't take away what made homecoming night so memorable. It didn't take away the moments when we're living like there's no future. It can't. Because when you come back home the next morning, these moments are the ones that stay with you. These moments, they're the ones that matter.